housebreaking a puppy is the most important thing you're going to do with your dog. Undoubtedly, because if it's not housebroken, it doesn't get to be in the house. And a dog that's not in the house isn't as fun. A dog that is housebroken and can be trusted in the house is an awesome thing. Well, there's like two things about a dog being in the house. One of them is it's housebroken, and the other one is it doesn't have separation anxiety. I did a video on separation anxiety and how to avoid it, so that's a, a different video. Maybe I'll be able to pop a link up on the screen. Um, as far as housebreaking is concerned, I've got a couple ideas. Well, first, let me tell you that I am all about crates when it comes to housebreaking. I think a dog uh, puppy should be in a crate when you're not able to supervise it, partly for its safety as far as biting electrical cords and tearing stuff up, but also um, I think it needs to get used to a crate as a place to stay while you're gone, within reason. Um, two hours at a time maybe for a puppy, six hours at a time for a young dog, and eight hours at a time no problem for a dog that's a year old or older, as long as there's plenty of space, something to do. But when you first start housebreaking process, you're going to have a crate, um, and he'll be in the crate. And here's a simple secret, and that is don't give him any water or food in the crate. And you might go, that's so mean. Well, not really, because a puppy's supposed to be out of the crate at least more than every two hours, because that's how often they're going to have to go to the bathroom, at least at first. And so when you give them food and water, you give it to them outside. And the idea there basically is when they get out of the crate, it's a reward to go to the door and go out. <gasps> food and water. Delicious. And, of course, they're going to go to the bathroom. And when they poop and pee outside, coincidental to their trip out of the crate to their food and water. When they trundle down into the yard and go to the bathroom, you treat them like they cured cancer or won the Nobel Prize. What a good baby boy. And uh, so you, you basically, by feeding and watering the puppy outside, you've mastered the uh, art of getting the dog to focus on the door. Because a lot of people crate train and house break, but they're, they're, there's a breakdown as they're working through that, kind of like, why won't you just go to the door to go to the bathroom? Well, the door's not a centerpiece of their life. But by feeding and watering, watering them just outside the door, you make the door a centerpiece of their life. And they're out every two hours, so they have access to food and water. Now, you don't have to food and water the dog every two hours when it goes out. You might just water it, or you might just food and water it three times a day, or four times a day, or whatever suits you. Kind of depends on your style. So housebreaking is, uh, at least in first, uh, at first, it's an issue of crating and putting the food and water outside and praising them with cuddles and kisses and maybe even a little pinch of deli turkey when they go to the bathroom outside. When they go to the bathroom inside, against the rules, um, they need to be scolded. And uh, that can be a verbal scolding and then carried outside to where they're supposed to go to the bathroom. Uh, and or it can be um, some other form of correction, like a spray bottle. If you wanted to, you could squirt them with a spray bottle across the room as they assume the position of peeing or pooping on the floor. Um, so there's there's a negative response to uh, pooping and peeing on the floor, and a very positive response to going to the bathroom outside um, and then making the outdoors a destination in order to do that with the food and water out there. Okay, so when they go outside, it's natural for them to do two things. They're going to try to go to the bathroom where they went last time, creatures of habit. And typically, where they find to go to the bathroom is going to be kind of an out-of-the-way place because they don't want to poop where they play, uh, and they don't want to poop where they eat. And they also appreciate their privacy, I have found, by and large. So as creatures of habit that want a little bit of privacy, if you want to accelerate the process by which they void 
make it easier for them to find a suitable place. So you pick a place that has a certain degree of modesty. And then as they accumulate various pieces of solid waste, if you rake those up and you put them where you want him to go to the bathroom behind that shrub, he will find his way there with more and more regularity and somehow smelling the poopy, he will um, go to the bathroom in a more and more accelerated fashion, much to your satisfaction because it gets you back into the house quicker. And back to your Warcraft game. <laughs> um, so create a destination where he'll poop and pee as soon as he goes outside, feeding water on the porch and scolding when they go to the bathroom in the house, take them directly outside and praise them outside when they go to the bathroom where they're supposed to. Uh, 